poverty, world hunger, our divisive political climate. Nah, we're talking about Instagram. You want to know some Instagram hidden secrets, don't we all? I'm Nathan, exactly 0.5 of Methabox, and today we're going to go into the five things that you probably didn't know about Instagram. Let's get into it. Tip number one, this one will help make your Instagram stories more aesthetically pleasing. Say you want to share a post or a song on your Instagram story. You go to share it and add it to your story and what Instagram will do will give you kind of this gradient, which I personally think is ugly and I like to give my own background. So what a regular person would do is go to the brush tool, bring it to the biggest thickness, select the color they want the background to be, and then just start shading. That takes a lot of time. There's a quicker way to do it. What you do is you pick the color that you want and then just press and hold on the background. Say the color you want to make the background isn't one of the nine presets at the bottom. Click and hold on any color you want and a color scale will come up. You can pick and choose a specific color based on this color gradient at the bottom and fine tune the specific color you want the background to be. I think it makes it look more minimalistic and makes whatever you're trying to share pop more. Tip number two, the Instagram mute feature. This is great if you have an ex or a brother whose story you don't want to view. Click the top circle of the profile picture where the stories appear, click and hold on the person you want to mute, click the mute button, and then two options will come up. The first is mute story. What that does is put that person's story all the way at the end so there's no chance of you seeing it. The second option is mute story in posts. That essentially blocks the person without that person knowing that they're being blocked. Dude, I just took a really interesting selfie. So I have a plan for it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make a world that's entirely pink, right? I'm gonna put myself in the bottom of the frame. I'm gonna blow it out so that it's completely out of focus. Now I'm gonna live. Another feature that goes hand in hand with this is the activity status feature. So you wanna to go to your profile. In the top right corner, hit those three lines, go to settings, privacy and security, and then activity status. It'll show in the DMs that they have a little green dot in their profile picture whenever they're active. If you don't want people knowing that you're online, it's super easy to just toggle this off and people won't know if you're active or not. The only caveat with this is, if you have it toggled off, you won't be able to see if other people are active or not. Here's another tip. It's about an app that will allow you to create seamless transitions in carousel albums on Instagram. The app is called Panels. It's $2 and the app makes it super easy to take these kinds of pictures. It was recently brought to my attention by a fellow creator named Jackson Hayes. His video is right here. You go into Instagram, you do the first picture, the left side, and you click the albums button and then you choose your second picture and then you hit next. And once it's uploaded to Instagram, you'll notice that it has that seamless transition where no matter how close you look, there's no way to tell that it was cut in any way. And that's how you get those seamless transitions. Tip number four is for those of you who are creators but don't have 10,000 followers yet. If you're like us and don't have 10,000 followers, you know how much of a hassle it is to go in and update the link in your bio every time you upload a new video. Well, TubeBuddy makes it super easy to do that. If you go on the TubeBuddy website and make an account, you can make a specific link that will redirect a person to your most recent uploaded YouTube video. TubeBuddy also has a really cool app with a bunch of different features that will help you promote your video. For example, choose the video you want to promote, then at the top, click the megaphone looking icon, and here you have a list to do a bunch of different things. For example, you can copy the URL, you copy the tags, the description, you can even save the thumbnail image, which makes marketing videos so much more easy. Tip number five is the save feature. A lot of people know this feature exists. However, they don't know, you can create subfolders within this feature. For example, we're here at the Supreme store. I like Supreme, so let me save this, add it to a collection, add it to my Supreme folder. This is great to stay organized. Instagram is one of those sites that's really good at curating content based on your likes and interests. So this is a great way to stay organized and keep all your likes in one place. <laughs> Bonus tip. So if you open Instagram, go to your profile, click the top three lines in the top right corner, go down to settings, go down to privacy and security, go all the way down to access data. This is where Instagram will show you a lot of fun and maybe, I don't know, useless information. The first thing you're gonna see is the date you joined Instagram. You scroll down, it'll show you all your former usernames, uh, your different texts you've had in your bio, all the different links you've had in your bio. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll say ads interests. This is where Instagram shows you how they categorize you based on your likes and hobbies. 
So if you click on view all, you can see all the different things Instagram thinks you like. Let us know, do you think yours are accurate? Ours are a little iffy, but it kind of explains why we get the ads that we get. I hope you guys enjoyed those five tips and that bonus tip. On this channel, I do it with my brother Jonathan. We talk about branding. We go into the world, talk to as many YouTubers as possible, and then package that information to bring to you in a fun and entertaining way. Now, we're not always posting videos on this channel, so if you want to keep in touch, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We like to get a little ratchet sometimes. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.